driving north on Highway 3 from Boston to New Hampshire for the New Hampshire primaries on January 8th. And it's an exciting race after Iowa where two candidates who weren't anywhere near the lead in the national polls a couple of months ago pulled out decisive victories uh, in Mike Huckabee and Barack Obama. Uh, both have great YouTube channels, by the way, so you should check them out. New Hampshire is going to be uh, a completely different ball game, and I'm excited. All right, I'm in Nashua, New Hampshire for Hillary Clinton's speech at Nashua North High School. The crowd is obviously fired up, and the line for this event is unbelievable. It goes all the way out to the main street. I don't think I even catch it on this tiny camera, but but obviously a lot of people here are excited uh, to see the senator. Hey, sir. Are you a Hillary supporter? Uh-huh. Are you a Hillary supporter? Yes, I am. Hey, I'm Steve Grove from YouTube. Nice hey, to meet Steve, you. Steve, nice to meet What's you. What's your name? Gerardo. You are uh, volunteering for Hillary? Yes. Okay. I also volunteer for the other one. Ah, uh, who's, who's, who's the other one? I'm a fair guy. Who's the other one? Obama. Ah, uh, okay. So we'll see. What, what, what is it going to take for you to make your final decision? Just open ears, open eyes. Yeah? Pay attention. Yeah. What, what's your sort of main criteria? I mean, the, the war is a big thing, the economy is a big thing, a lot of domestic issues more so than overseas. Okay. Because, I mean, we're bleeding, so it's a matter of what can we do to make it slow down. I mean, I don't think we'll ever stop bleeding for a while for something to slow it down. What we need in our next president is someone who deeply believes in the American dream. We also want a president who can go That was really interesting. Senator Clinton making a very pointed argument that if change is what New Hampshire voters want, that she is the one to deliver it based on her experience, uh, not based on just rhetoric, which of course was a criticism against Senator Obama. I'm now at the John McCain headquarters here in Manchester, New Hampshire. And it's located actually in an old abandoned mill building here down by the river. Uh, the milling industry in Manchester has taken a dive in the past decades and there's a lot of old red brick abandoned mill buildings down by the river which are now being taken over by high technology firms and other businesses uh, a bit more suited to this century. Let's go see how the McCain campaign is doing. Well, it's a busy day here, day here in the campaign, people making phone calls, getting out the vote. We're going to go see Christian Ferry who's the deputy campaign manager in the McCain campaign. All right, I'm here with Christian Ferry, the Deputy Campaign Manager for the McCain Campaign. Hello, Christian. Hey, how y'all doing? Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on behind you right now here at the McCain well, headquarters. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the last few days of the campaign, so we're um, contacting voters on the phones. we got folks out doing sign waves on the streets, door-to-door uh, -door activity. You know, last few days, getting the message out about John McCain. What are you hearing from New Hampshire voters right now? Uh, about, about the Republican nomination? Well, I think they're excited. Um, it's been a long campaign season, but Iowa caucuses are over. Everyone's really focused now on this effort. And they're looking for candidates who are authentic. Candidates are coming out to uh, tell them the truth, speak to them directly, tell them what they want to hear, whether or not they agree with them or not. And that's what John McCain's been doing this entire campaign. Uh, I think it's one of the reasons that you've seen us doing so well. All right, we're in the back loading dock of the McCain campaign headquarters. I just ran into my good buddy Dave Asp from Minnesota. Hello, Dave. Steve, good to see you as always. Uh, you drove all the way out here from Minnesota to volunteer for the McCain campaign. Why? I mean, that's a long ways to come to, to work for a politician. It is. It's exciting. Uh, believe in Senator McCain and uh, want to help him win here. I can't imagine that signposting is a lot of fun, frankly. I mean, even if you believe in the candidate. So, you know, actually, signposting can uh, is really great because we first get to call the people, talk to them. They're all really excited about, yeah. about Senator McCain. And uh, so we, you know, they all want signs, and so we're, we feel like we're, we're definitely this small part of the campaign, we're making a difference. I would guess there might be more campaign signs in this town than there are people right now. Manchester has been completely overtaken by politics. 
All right, well, I've now come to the WMUR TV station. And WMUR is, of course, our partner for our voter video project, where we're collecting videos from voters across New Hampshire to see what the primary season looks like here. This is Joel Holland. Hey, Joel. Good Hello. to see you. Joel is a reporter for WMUR TV. Joel, how are we coming on uh, voter videos? I think we're doing well. Uh, I was checking it today. I saw a nice uh, Kucinich snowman video, which was interesting. Now, what advice do you have for people who are making videos about the New Hampshire primaries? Well, um, the three E's. Make them educational, entertaining, um, but then actually encourage people to get out and vote. Oh, my so Lord. The three, the three E's. So, between now and the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday, keep checking back to youtube.com slash WMUR TV for more voter videos from across the state about the New Hampshire primaries.